Welcome back to another episode, guys. Thank you for joining us. If you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe. This week we are in Hoga in Wakatobi in Indonesia. We hope you enjoy. I can't even talk. I'm ready to put a frickin' hammer through the bottom of Catalpa. Oh. We are an Australian family that made our boat Catalpa our home and set off on an adventure of a lifetime. We hope these little videos make you smile and inspire you to chase your dreams. Subscribe to join us in our travels as we share our life on the sea. So a lot of you ask if you have moments where you just want to get off the boat. Lee certainly does and this is one of those days. Can't even talk. I'm ready to put a frickin' hammer through the bottom of Catalpa. Oh, I've dropped my tools. I'm trying to fix it. It's rough, windy. So what's really hard is when Lee's up on the deck working and it's not going well. He dropped a tool this morning. He's ready to sink the boat. I'm going to jump in the water and get your chisel. I don't want the chisel. What do you want? Out of this boat. I'm done. Finally just got me. I just can't do it any longer. I was tired of the run. I was done. After a cuddle, some more hard work, a lot of sweat, some more swear words, and persistence, Lee prepped Catalpa for the epoxy. Meanwhile, I went to see what the kids were up to as they were entertaining themselves. Okay, so we just came over in the boat. Sarah and Bella and I are going to the markets and uh, these lovely people are offering to take us on their motorbike to show us where it is because we're not sure. So yeah, super grateful and we're gonna go to the market. Hello. <laughs> All right, so Tara is going to drive me and Ida is going to drive Bella. Yeah. Ida Bella. Bella. Okay. All right, she's gonna eat us, gonna show us where to go to the markets. They're very nice people. We are driving like Miss Daisy, really. <laughs> Hoga is a popular diving destination and in normal times the dive resort, villas and homestays are busy with travellers. So the locals for this reason are used to seeing tourists. We headed back to the boat after a successful run to get some fresh vegetables, eggs and a little bit of fruit. Hoga Island is a little island in southeast Sulawesi and is a part of the island group Wakatobi. Wakatobi is home to some special villages that are built on the water. We visited a Bajo village in Tomia three years ago and today we were off to visit the Bajo village here in Hoga. 
our friend we met invited us for lunch at his home. She's shy. So she's two? Yeah. Hello. Hello. <laughs> and this is your youngest? Yeah. yeah. Hello. Oh, oh. Wow. Wow. So is your wife one of these ladies? Yeah. This is your wife? Yeah, the rice cooked in the bamboo. Cooked in bamboo? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, I've tried that. It's kind of sweet. Oh, yeah. I like that. Oh, that's that stuff that got fish in my hand. Yeah. 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 Let's go. That's all right. <laughs> cassava bread is a bread made from the root vegetable cassava. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Can I like it? Can I try yours? It's good. Try one of these things. The kids here were pretty excited for our visit. These goggles are traditionally what the Bajo tribes would use when spearfishing. And even though most of the fishermen now have scuba masks, these were pretty cool to see. The goggles? They're homemade. Oh, yeah. timber. Made of timber. Pretty cool. Use these? Are you going swimming? Oh, is it bamboo? I think so. Is it bamboo? No. No? no. Oh. Special wood. White wood. Oh, white wood? Yeah. White. The kids, as you can see, spend a lot of time in the ocean and are great swimmers. Most of the men here are fishermen. After we ate, the kids took us on a tour of this unique village built on the water. You say that something's got to give. You say it's one way to live. Yet you sit and wait for better days. I think we Janti, kamu juga.
fixing up Catalpa from uh, the accident that we had and today we finished, or well, Lee finished, um, sealing all of the patches and sanding and now we've just got to paint. So we're just going to wash the boat down. Uh, the weather isn't helping, it's a bit lumpy in here so it's making it hard. The boat's going up and down and so when you're in the dinghy, um, the dinghy goes up and down and then it's hard to you know, get a nice neat job but Lee's done really well and it's pretty much got everything done now, just needs to paint it. It's a beautiful little island. Um, we have had a bit of a cold, everyone's had a bit of a cold the last few days. One of the guys that came out to meet us from the village over here, he was a bit sick and uh, he was blowing his nose and putting snot everywhere and the boys went for spear fishing with him when we first got here and uh, yeah, there anyway. The boys have all ended up sick, passed it on to most of us and we've had a few days of everyone not being well so everyone can help it feels good today but we are going to start painting today and then it's 300 nautical miles from here to Ambon which is our next passage um, the winds are really good to go at the moment and it should be like this for the next four days but we've just got to get some paint on our patches and then we should be good to go um, that's what's been going on for the last few days here. It's a beautiful place, we can swim every day and the water's clear and there is apparently really good diving. We've done a bit of snorkeling. Mum and Ali not having to paddle back using the wind instead. Mum then went for a spin in our friend's canoe. put the Bardro Tribe goggles to the test. Can't wait to get uh, the boat back together without all this crap everywhere. It's not nice. Frustrates Lee too when the boat's messy. But when you're working you gotta have it all out and you can't pack it up every day because that's annoying. So hopefully we can get our paint done today and then pack all that crap back where it goes. Anyway, we're going to paint today. I don't think it's out as a pharaoh anymore made up of that much epoxy and paint now. Maybe she's an epoxy boat. <laughs> he uh, got a coat of paint on, despite the wind 
not helping. Um, we got it on. And we've decided that's all we're getting on. And we're going to pack all this stuff up and get ready for our crossing to Ambon. Check out the water. I don't know if you can see it behind me. I can't really see it. I'll show you. It's bloody beautiful. I just had a swim. Washed everything off. Okay, yeah, I did pretty good. I got all the paint off. Had a swim and now we're going to pack up. Good job, we're clean and ready to sail. After we painted all the patches, we got the boat back in order with anchors and jerry cans in place on the deck. And watch the sun go down one last time here in Wakatobi. Guys, we're leaving Hogger today, uh, Wakatobi. Um, we didn't do as much as we wanted to here. We pretty much mostly worked on the boat trying to get her back together. And um, but there's, uh, we we're going to stay longer, but there's wind to go, so got to go with the winds. Just been food prepping because we've got a 300 nautical mile passage, so it's three days at sea. And um, I don't, I try to, but I'm not always good at preparing before we leave. But yeah, we're leaving after lunch, I think, today. So I've just been cooking a curry and making some hummus, cooked up some rice. Um, that's about it. Got a little bit of meal prep done, and uh, usually I'm alright cooking as we go as long as it's not too rough so I've just got this as backup if it is a little bit rough but we should be good the winds look good it looks like we've got the trade winds behind us so we're gonna get going a little update on Taj how you feeling mate bad bad at least doing more jobs oh, ice jobs what jobs are you doing just before we slip the anchor making a little USB up so because I've used my overtel at the helm I'm going to put a little line out so I don't have a flat battery with the overtel. Just a little you know 2.15 volt USB panel just made a little bracket for it sit in behind here sort of tidied up all that it was just a big mess. Uh, so we're just leaving we just pulled the anchor um, I'm spewing because we didn't get any uh, we didn't get any drone footage from here. It's actually really beautiful, but um, Lee had no time at all. We Pretty much the whole time we were here, he was working on the boat and it was really windy for the last three or four days. So um, we didn't get to fly the drone, unfortunately, but we know that things look better from the sky. So we've set Bella up the mast and she's getting you some footage. Well, I hope you liked that episode. Please like and subscribe if you did. Leave a comment down below and um, we will see you next time. Bye.